On the one hand, we have Republicans who say, no, we got to shut the government down if they don't defund Obamacare. There's Representative Jim Jordan from Ohio. He says, I just think you saw members who said, look, let's just do what we all know needs to be done, and frankly, what the American people want to see done. Okay. Once again, the American people have no interest in what you're saying. The American people have voted over and over again in favor of President Obama, twice in favor of the law through their representatives, in favor of funding it. It is absolutely clear the American people are not on the Republican side. They don't like the Republican side. That's why they don't vote for you. And even in the House that the Republicans control, in fact, the Democrats, because of gerrymandering, got more votes than the Republicans did. So in reality, the American people do not support you in any branch. But yet you pompously talk about the American people. But now in this rare case, we actually have a number of folks who uh, have decided, uh, I think this might be slightly disastrous. And uh, I think these extreme right-wingers, as opposed to the normal <laughs> radical right-wingers, because <laughs> there is no moderate wing of the Republican Party. I mean, a left wing of the Republican Party is comical. There's obviously no such thing exists, but there's no center of the party either. Okay, so it's the massively right wing versus the insanely right wing, and now the massively right wing are saying, "I think you guys are lunatics, and you're going to do even more damage to us." When in essence, on policy, no matter how many times we lose elections, on policy we've kind of been winning, right? And I would argue it's not kind of; it's definitely. Uh, Representative Charlie Dent from Pennsylvania says, "Look, quote, it's time to govern." I don't intend to support a fool's errand. So that's pretty strong language, so we got a little bit of a showdown within the Republican Party, the GOP corral, if you will. All right, uh, Representative Raul Labrador from Ohio, Idaho says, I think there's enough people in the Republican Party who are willing to do that, and I think that's what you're going to see, referring to the fact that we're going to have a shutdown. And in fact, of course, today the House has voted for the third time to say we will give you no clean funding resolution and we will shut down the government unless you defund Obamacare. Uh, well, Representative De uh, Devin Nunez from California says, we're pretty much out of options at this point. They're all giddy about it. You know who benefits the most here from a shutdown? The Democrats benefit and they know that. So there are actually some sane voices in the House, believe it or not, including Peter King, a uh, New York uh, congressman who is normally, again, massively right wing. He's the guy who did the Muslim hearings on whether the whole religion should be condemned. Uh, it was a classy set of McCarthyite hearings. He's among the same category saying, oh, we can't go down this road of Ted Cruz. It's going to destroy our party. It's not going to hurt the Democrats. What it's going to do is hurt us. And now there are some voices in the Senate who also agree with that. Senator Susan Collins. I voted against Obamacare, she said, and I've repeatedly voted to re repeal, reform, and replace it. But I disagree with the strategy of linking Obamacare with the continuing function of government, a strategy that cannot possibly work. A number of leading Republicans saying, what are you doing? You're going the wrong way. And of course, uh, they will not be listened to. And uh, they barrel straight ahead anyway. When asked, uh, the House representatives generally say that they were really encouraged by uh, Ted Cruz and they feel that he is the guy that really lit a fire under them to go in this direction. So when they fall off the cliff, probably later this week, well I guess you'll have Ted Cruz and the insane right wing uh, House Republicans to thank for that. So if you're a Republican who is just looking for your tax cuts and maybe to start a war or two again, well you'll be disappointed that you have lost leverage in that fight because of the uber right wing uh, of your party, which by the way in the House is the majority of your party.